Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Howdy, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for swinging by. I do appreciate it, guys. Look at this thing. What is that? What's that word? Lamadeus. Like Amadeus, but with two L's in front of it. Rock me, Lamadeus. <laughs> Every time I see the word or the name Amadeus, it reminds me of that song Falco did years ago, Rock Me Amadeus. So, and that was a piece of work there. One hit wonder, if I do recall. It was pretty good at the time, but uh, I don't think we ever heard anything else from that guy again. But anyway, this is a KCBC Kings County Brewers Collective. And these guys are out of New York, uh, Brooklyn, New York. Uh, and it's got a picture here. It looks like it's in a, <laughs> like it's in a warehouse, and it looks like they've been brewing some beers, guys. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of beers under their belt. So, and looking at the dates, I see all the way back to maybe 2016. So, uh, they've been doing it for a while now. Uh, I may have had something at one time from these guys. Uh, I do like the really colorful artwork. It's kind of got the llamas with the Amadeus. Lamadeus. I sort of they're, they're gone with that. So uh, uh, instead of Amadeus, it's llamas dressed up like Amadeus. So canned on 013124 in a big white box on the side of the label here. Very nicely done. I like that. I mean, if it's not here, that it's a perfect place right underneath the government warning and don't smoke this if you're pregnant and all that kind of bullshit. So, uh, I like the artwork. Uh, and again, it's a double IPA, a hazy one. Couldn't pass it up, huh? Alright guys, speaking of passing it up, this beer costs $7.09. And it is an eight percenter, and I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. It says double dry hopped IPA, Citra Galaxy, and Hallertau Blanc hops. Citra Galaxy, very well known IPA hops. Hallertau, not so much. That's more of a lager hop, uh, European hop, more floral, herbal, uh, earthy type of hop more that you would use for a lager so that's why I will kick it uh, kick it a different direction there uh, and that's it that's all other than the fancy uh, fancy Lama Deus on the front so with that being said guys I don't think there's anything else here so let's get it into the glass Very hazy, very cloudy. Alright, let's do this. A collective, they say. I wonder how many brewers have collected together to become the Kings County Brewers Collective. Anyway, that's all we're going to try to get in there right now. Finger and a half ahead. Very hazy, very cloudy, very New England esque in appearance. Very, very nice. That is a really good looking double IPA if I do say so myself. To the nose we go. Oh yeah. Very nice. Got a nice sweet citrusy. I'm getting melons and grapefruits. I've been, I've been picking up more on the melon characteristics on the IPAs recently. I don't know if it's just me or, or, or what, but uh, grapefruit, some tropical fruit notes, nice and citrusy, smells awesome, let's dive in, 
scriptures. I'm getting a berry esque quality. I'm getting some berry notes there for some reason. And the hollow tile, to me, is almost jumping into that lager-esque quality. I don't want to say grassy grainy, but so more of a, a herbal. Maybe that's the berry-esque I'm getting, and maybe it's more of a herbal taste that I'm getting. It's bringing into the mix there. I'm not sure. It's tasty, though. I mean, it, it works. Alright, the final swirly swirl from the can. We might have to do it in the glass depending on how much sediment we get. And it looks kind of cloudy. I mean, it looks a little milkier with that coming into the, the glass. But I don't see any big chunks or any heavy particulates floating around just yet. So, But again, sometimes it's very fine and it collects in the bottom of that glass. So, let me see... I don't see anything in the bottom of the can, so, guys, pretty tasty right now, uh, definitely a decent beer, let's see if it gets into the A category by the time we get to the bottom. Alright guys, I'm back, got a little bit left, nice thing is left on the glass, ah, I think it's a very tasty beer, guys, uh, very well made, very tasty, the hollow towel hops, works, gives it a, a little bit a little bit change up taste on, on it to me, I mean. A little bit of that floral herbal thing going on with your IPA or double IPA. Final chug. Very pleasant. Very nicely done. Uh, guys, I think it scraped into the A category. 90 for me on this one. Uh, over to Beer Advocate. I don't think they have it. No, they do not have it listed. And over to Untap. Uh, 3.99. Kicking the door down on the 4.0. So, and this only had 106 people uh, comment or rate on this beer over there. So, fairly new release considering it was released on January the 31st. So we're almost two months out, and by the time you see this, we may be two months out. I'm, that, I'm a, about seven to ten days out now, so and we're about to wrap it up. But I got a beer mouth package on the way too, so uh, we got a few coming from Utah. So we'll we'll see uh, see how kind of tasty beers are coming out of Utah nowadays. It's been quite a while since I've reviewed any beers out of Utah. So, uh, Lamadeus. Get your llamas on. Get your llamas out. Watch out, they'll spit on you though. If you uh, if you've had llama deus from KB KCBC, let me know what you think, guys. I found it pretty tasty. So we got one more in there. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.